Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Mod Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at another fantastic mod, and this one is called the Advanced Cockpit. So what this mod does is that it adds additional functionality, additional animations to the default cockpits just by adding it in through the mod menu. There is nothing you need to do on your part, it's all done automatically. So all of your blueprints, all of your designs will just be updated as soon as the mods are added in. Now I will mention right now that this mod is still work in progress, so only the small block vanilla cockpit has any kind of additional functionality. The creators are going to expand out to all the cockpits of all sizes in the future, but like I said, currently it's only one cockpit. So what I've got all the way behind me is a bunch of these small block cockpits, but one of these is not like the other, and that's this one in the corner. This is our very default vanilla cockpit that just sits down on a small grid. It doesn't look like there's anything different about it compared to usual until I bring my character over. So just grabbing hold of my character, walking all the way over here and getting in, and looking down, there's, well, still nothing different about it. It looks all the same until you start to mouse over these buttons along the center console and these buttons on the side. The little white dot will turn blue because we can interact with them. And this is what this mod does. So what we got all the way onto this side is a red button. This red button is our parking brake to switch it on and off. So we got all the way over to here by holding Alt and moving over. And we just do that without needing to press P or even needing to set up a hotbar for the parking brake. Just below that onto this yellow section right here, this is our power on and off. So we no longer need to press Y. And once again, we don't need to set up anything on the hotbar to turn this on and off. It's simply a click of a button and on and off it goes. And then the most impressive part about this mod, which is absolutely fantastic, is the two buttons right here. So the left one and the right one is going to control the canopy. If I was to press the one on the very right, we're going to get the canopy automation turned on or turned off. If we were to turn it on and then get out the cockpit, it lifts up, allowing you to get in and out, like so. It's bloody fantastic for how it's all been done, and it's so silky smooth and simple that I'm surprised it hasn't been added into the base game a long time ago. So that's what it does. If I just hide the HUD and walk all the way around, there we are. Now getting back into the seat, it will automatically close down, and we're ready to go. Bring up the HUD once again and pressing the button to the left of that, that is simply an automatic toggle to press it and open it and close it as you please. So we can turn off the automation like so and press that, making the cockpit open and close as we please. So if you want to have it as a ordinary cockpit with no moving functions, we just make sure that's turned off. And now it's just an ordinary cockpit. If you want to open it up to say hello to someone over there, you can have a little chat and then once you're bored of them, you can just shut them out. As for the controls in the middle, now this is actually really well set up. So coming out of here and placing down a exhaust pipe, there we are, we're going to add in a exhaust block all the way down to there. Now it's shooting out some white smoke. We're just going to get into our cockpit once again. We're going to come into here. We're going to turn off the exhaust pipe. There we go. And now we're going to change it to say a gigantic fireball. We're now going to add this to our hotbar like a traditional setup. So there we go. We're now going to toggle it on and off. Then look all the way down at the bottom screen. We now got a button to turn it on and off. How about that? That is some fantastic stuff right there. And you can do it for pretty much anything. If it wants to come out of the cockpit and say spawn it in one of the workshop blueprints I downloaded a long time ago, not too sure why I done it. It's called My Little Murder Pod. There it is. It's only 82 blocks. It comes with a bunch of weapons and it's pretty in pink. So just spawning it in like so, you can see that the cockpit automatically opens up because the mod has updated it with all the new functionality. Coming all the way across into it, it now closes up. Bring up the HUD, you'll see we have a few options by default. So we can press that. Now we're in the camera. We can come out and press number two. And that's going to be for our Gatling guns all the way forwards. Number three, for our rockets. And then come across over to number five, which is going to be for our batteries on and off. O2H2 generators over on this side. Then we can turn on and off our connector with this one over here. Very nice stuff. And you can see all the controls at the bottom of the screen because the creator of the My Little Murder Pod has set it up. So now you can play completely without the HUD. And you just look down here, number one is for your camera, click on that, 
and away you go. And of course, if you want to, you can just open that up, turn off the automation, just bring up the HUD, there we go. And now you can fly around with the cockpit open, and well, let the wind blow through your hair as you're flying around, and well, hopefully you'll have it closed while in space. And that is pretty much what the Advanced Cockpits has to offer. Like I said, it's still work in progress and only works on the small block standard cockpit. So we'll to fly all the way back over towards my little platform I made. In fact, we're going to close this up just in case we slam straight into the pillar, which I'm totally not aiming for. Then we'll just go in and take a look at the other cockpit. So there we go. That'll do quite nicely. And we'll just fly up to here. So just getting into the standard fighter cockpit, we can see that we don't have any other controls all the way around here, nothing glows blue. Because yes, only the standard one over there is working. But I really cannot wait to see the industrial cockpit get this functionality, because just imagine that, opening all the way up, you can almost just walk straight into it. That would be great. Yes, like I said, that is pretty much it for what the advanced cockpits has to offer. It's a fantastic mod if you are looking for an automated cockpit, that requires no additional effort from you. Just plug it in and play essentially, and away you go. So there'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around with it yourself. I highly recommend you do because it is a fantastic mod, as well as a link to the My Little Murder Pod, which is, well, in little pieces currently. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Bye bye.